Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? What? What? What was that? What was that? What was that? I was just minding my own business. Minding my own business. Admiring her. Oh, there it is again. Oh my gosh. Okay, what the heck? <laughs> what is happening over here? I had no idea. I had no idea. There's actually like a dread horse at dread horse canyons. I think this 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 place is called. Oh my gosh. You're kidding. There's actually like a dread horse. I feel like this would even give Hercules our our brave horse. Okay, come back please or or not. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, all right. So there's like a big old hole right here. Um so I guess there's some lore to this canyon, uh, Dreadhorse Falls or wherever we're at. And I, I, I think that that would be an extremely weird and terrifying dream that Rocky might go ahead and possibly like have, or maybe Hercules had it. That was really weird. That was really weird. And while I was like looking around for the thing that was making doom noises in my ear beans while I was waiting for Rocky to wake up, I found this. <laughs> I found a horse grave by a big broken bridge next to a giant canyon and suddenly being all by our lonesome out in the big wild yonder by ourselves with not another sim in sight as far as you can see. Oh, but there's a, there's a vulture. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> Maybe I don't want a vulture right now. Oh my word! I I have no idea what that's about. I'm kind of low-key tempted to go down and like poke it with a stick just to see what happens. Uh, it doesn't look like anything can happen over here, but by golly, I am gonna make something happen. If I can if I can walk down here, I can. I can indeed walk down here, all the way up to like kind of like this edge. Then we might just have to have ourselves some sort of mysterious discovery that possibly I might have to use the tool mod to put down. But what? Okay, so that was a little unexpected. Maybe we'll be able to figure out if there's some sort of lore that we're missing. But I have to say, I don't think. Oh, and there's a rat. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think that this is going to be like a good night's sleep for Rocky. But then again, he is adventurous and a adrenaline seeker, and he is currently more or less starving to death. So, hello everyone, and welcome back to our adventures here in The Sims 4 Ranch to Riches, where apparently the ranch might have some ghost horses from time to time. Good to know. Um, and we are getting ready to go ahead and settle ourselves in for a proper day on the ranch, because now that we've headed into town and we've gotten our hands on a little bit of produce, well, you know, Rocky's of the opinion that it must be extremely easy to produce. <laughs> More plants for him to be able to, you know, start up putting some nectar in the caves. And surely once he gets some nectar in the caves, that's going to make it so that he can just start selling it for lots of money. Because people, like, he pays a lot of money for good nectar when he goes out to drink and, and have some delicious aged fruit juice. So, of course, like, all he has to do is stomp on some, some things and then sell it to people, right? Uh... Ah, the naivete. But we are going to uh, hopefully, ooh, now the sun is rising. The moon is setting. This is really pretty. I'm not even one for like, well, look, I'm going to be honest, like at least this biome has a lot of greenery. I always get sad in like desert biomes without a lot of greenery. I just, I need the leaves. <laughs> I even got sad on Hawaii when we were on like the volcanic side, um, which is opposite the side where my grandma uh, grew up. And I was just sad because I was like, there's nothing here but escaped cows and invasive gorse and occasionally a goat. The goat was cool. Uh, and then like a bunch of rocks because, you know, like Big Island, it's half rocks because it's the newest island. It needs, needs a little bit more time, a few more million years to be more beachy. Uh, but in any case, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and we're going to poke Rocky with a stick in just a second. But while he is waking up and while Hercules is just sleeping over here, I feel a little bad about that. Maybe we'll try to work a touch on being able to get him a little bed of hay at least to sleep in. Maybe even in, maybe even inside the cave. Oh my gosh. If we had any money, I would totally do that right now because that would be adorable. Uh, but welcome to our ranch, friends. Since we have been so busy introducing Rocky and Hercules, and since we have been so busy just popping into town to see what town has to offer, 
I have not had a chance to go ahead and introduce you guys to the lay of the land. So as you guys know, we are between a couple lots that I have designated as national parks. So we've got the place to ourselves. And this is the last scrap of land that remained in Rocky's ancestral family home. And oh, I forgot about the community service. <laughs> We're gonna be needing to do that in a little bit too. But this is the last scrap of land that they still owned and they have been given permission to go ahead and kind of settle this area, even build a home here uh, as time goes on, a barn, a giant cellar where apparently Rocky's going to put his like squishy fruit juice stomped upon nectar away and become a multimillionaire. So he thinks he's dreaming happy dreams about that right now at least. Uh, and the horses also have all of this space and they're allowed to kind of roam wild. And I think that that could be a really fun dynamic for what we do for our horses because we could go ahead and plant a bunch of prairie grass all over the place and say that we are actually uh, like rewilding the area with native prairie grass that the native horse species can go ahead and eat. Uh, being, you know, Rocky and his herd of many, many, many children, I hope he has. Huh? There's gold in them hills! Okay, we'll have to see if we can collect that. Uh, and as you guys may have noticed, on Rocky's actual lot of land, where he's allowed to do what he needs to do here, uh, you know, like build a house and things like that. No houses over over in other spots, though. This is a national park, after all. Uh, that means don't don't touch the rattlesnakes. Like, seriously, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be safe. Um, but this is a fun little lot that I built and I actually was having a lot of fun with it. It became a lot more complicated than I was expecting because I think my planet zoo building skills kicked in and I am so tickled that I think I have actually leveled up in building somewhat and I could not have done it without many of Bakey's amazing mods. So if you guys don't know the mod author Bakey, highly recommend checking him out because then you can get insect spawners to put down and you can also get things like the rock climbing wall behold this is the rock climbing wall that has been given a whole bunch of different colors and you can actually have different sizes of it normally the rock climbing only showed up either on a specific lot where you like build for rock climbing or if you go over um oh geez to the snowy escape world <laughs> Uh, San Machino? No, that's like, oh no, okay, I'm a little embarrassed because I can't remember the name of the world right now, but you guys know what I mean. That place where you can go ahead and you can, like, do some snowboarding and snow- snowboarding? What? Okay, please be awake when you snowboard, um, but you could do snowboarding there. And, uh, this is the extracted like rock climbing thing that we can do. And I'm pretty excited about that. I'm hoping that one day we'll be able to like try to climb it. Uh, and we have a whole bunch of other rocks around it that are also part of uh, a mix of Bakey and Brazen's extracted rocks. Bakey has raisable cliffs that you can actually go ahead and get. And so I played with raising and lowering the cliffs to try to make as kind of a naturalistic look as possible. Also, ew, bugs from slumbering in a sleeping bag. <laughs> and overheating, do it hot in a temperature. Oh, geez, I didn't think about that, but we probably are getting kind of hot. I wonder if we can go swimming soon. That would be kind of helpful. Oh, wait, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> because the water has weird toxic radiation stuff in it. And I will tell you guys more about that in the Notebook Memory Keeper. Da -da -da. Another wonderful mod that we have this time from Ravashin. Uh, and I'll go ahead and show you guys like what that is for in just a second. But the long and short of it is we have a bunch of insects who live here on this little property. We've got some prairie grass kind of growing in different locations. I showed you guys how we do have the lot challenge, prairie grass, simple living, and off the grid. That's three lot challenges. So it's going to make things a little interesting over here. We have a non-functional well, but I did actually just get an off-the-grid well that we might be able to use in the well, well, well uh, future when we can, you know, actually get our hands on <laughs> on some of these things. Like here's the water collection home tower, which is like a tower that you could do for water collection. And then I'm pretty sure I've got weather vane power generator, a water pump, oh, clean water from like underground aquifers. Like that would be so cool. Um, oh my gosh. And then let's see, I'm pretty sure there's like other water collection things. 
that we can snag. And there's a bucket around here somewhere that we can use as, ah, right here. The do-it-yourself bucket shower from the filthy fabulous set that Ravashin made. And I think that that's gonna be really fun because we can use a bucket, fill it with some water and we can take a shower. Though you don't want to drink the water. <laughs> and I'll show you guys what I mean by that in just a second. But I'm pretty sure there's actually a well as well that might be functional now. Uh, yep, right here. The wishing water well. This lets your sim gathers, gather water on off the lot properties and cast wish. Oh my gosh. And you can also cast wishes. Oh, our adrenaline seeker might try to do that. That might make life very interesting for us, but to fix the well, but we'll go ahead and say like, it's this well, you know, it's going to actually cost 745 simoleons, which is a long way away from what we've got. However, we might get lucky because there's gold in them heels and uh, we've got, we've got an entrance to the forgotten grotto. Woo! Except I have manually blocked it off. <laughs> so we do actually have an entrance to the Forgotten Grotto on our property, but you normally cannot travel to the Forgotten Grotto unless you go to another world. Like I said, Rocky can't do that. He is under court order to stay in our lovely little new Appaloosa like world for next year. Uh, also, he has to do his community service, so we'll figure out what we're going to do about that after he finds something to eat so he doesn't starve to death. <laughs> but once he gets to level 10 handiness, or maybe we'll give him some sort of other more fun and engaging challenge, uh, like maybe instead of getting a level 10 handiness, we will make him have to complete like a certain amount of the collection for rocks. And maybe that will finally give him the insight he needs to be able to get into the Forgotten Grotto. But I wanted the Forgotten Grotto to kind of be like a family cave where we can go and we'll alter the way it looks using just the lot that you find down there and also the tool mod and the buy build enabled uh, cheat so that you can edit on secret lots. And I want it to be a family cavern where Rocky and his family will be able to go and kind of make it their own. And over the generations, hopefully we'll be able to see uh, mementos, little treasures. Maybe the kids will have like a club thing going on down there. Rocky is an adventurous treasure seeker, but you know, the idea of having kids that would terrify him. So don't, don't tell him, don't tell him he's actually trapped here like a legacy sim. Like that's, that's, you don't just break that to a man without a little warning, I'm telling you what. You don't break that to anybody without a little bit of warning. It's a big, heavy responsibility. Uh, but that being said, uh, that's the, kind of the long and short of how I have set up this lot. There's a lot more insects than I meant to put down. A word of warning, if you put down the insect spawners, you can't pick them back up again. And I forgot about that. Like, oh, wait, 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 ha ha! You can if you're lucky and you manage to snag it, um, which does beg the question of, oh, yes, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, does that mean I can move the insect spawners anywhere in the world? Hold up, I'm doing this live. Okay, I think I did. And then I guess we're just gonna leave it there and we're gonna see. I might not get any bugs there anymore, but we should have some insects being spawned over there. If I can do that, you guys are about to see like fields of fireflies. You're about to see the whole landscape get transformed. The fun thing about the tool mod, by the way, it, I have been gushing on and on about it. The Discordians and our Patreon Discord are like laughing literally right now. I saw that blaze. I saw that red. <laughs> They're actually laughing right now at how I sound like a salesperson for the tool mod. But look at this empty land. We could put more plants in it. That's very exciting. And with the tool mod, when you're on a home lot, if I wanted to go ahead and say, put more of the prairie grass like out in the world, I would need five simoleons before I could do that. But then after I got those five simoleons and or planted some prairie grass, what we could do, pretty sure, oh, did I break, I think I broke that prairie grass. Did I, did I break it, break it? Okay, you could go ahead and you could like toggle it and then move it. Like, isn't that so cool? So that's what I mean when I said that we would be able to go ahead and we would, there we go. We would replant native plants all over the place. We could even get some cactuses going all over the place. I might, I, you can't really put them on the rocks and things. It has to be somewhere that you can actually like click, but I just love that idea. And I think it would be so much fun to watch the landscape change as generations go by. But all right, speaking of landscape changing, speaking of generations going by, let's go ahead and let's dig Rocky up a little bit of food. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, and then I need to tell you guys one last thing. So I did also get my hands on none other than the Ink For Yourself mod from Ravishing. So we can actually keep track of the challenges in game that we have going on for our boy Rocky when they are not related to, you know, the ranch to riches and they're not related to the 101 foals. Uh, you know, the little things like the fact that we actually have <laughs> a secret spill in the water. And so what you can do with this is you can go ahead and you can actually create an entry. Um, Like, I wonder, here, I'm going to put another one. So you can make a memory and it basically functions like a little notebook bio page that you can save specific to the journal. And the journal can be moved around between Sims. You can change the author of the journal entries and you can even attach a memory to it. So this one is going to be weird. Uh, let's see, weird dream of dread horse because you know we had that weird dream so then we can go ahead and we can say something is uh last night last night i thought i heard the distant neighing of a uh ghost horse it was uh of a ghost horse i got goosebumps and woke up in surprise when i thought i heard the ringing of horseshoes on a train track. But why would I think that? Anyway, it was probably just Hercules. Uh, uh, let's see, probably just Hercules roaming around and my stomach growling. But it, but I hope, there, there we go. So, you know, now we have an entry that he can go ahead and write. And here's what he'll do. Bluen. Yibs. I love, I love having immersive gameplay. It's like the best thing in the world for me. So he'll kind of like sketch it down on a little sketchbook and it will become part of this memory keeper. And what we can do here is we can actually add a moodlet so we can put like a scary moodlet on that memory. And then we can open this up and we can have him recall the scary moment. Ugh. He's really hot right now. <laughs> But he can kind of think like, boy, uh, that dream was actually really quite frightening, which I think is quite entertaining. Um, and then he will get a little bit of a moodlet buff, kind of being like, whoa, that was scary. What a scary moment. Why did I take a photo of this? <laughs> So that's basically what the memory notebook keeper can do. And it's also very, very helpful for us. Let me plonk it back out again. You have to take it out to open it up because then it allows me to look at something like secret spills in the water, which is our current world challenge on top of all the other challenges we have. So uh, there was this woman in a hazmat suit hanging around the river, like what? She was fishing out some glowing rocks and I really don't like how hard she laughed when I asked her if the water was safe to drink or swim in. Did Nessa know about this? The woman gave me her number in case I found anything weird in the river. When I asked her what kind of weird stuff I might find, she just laughed again. And then we have little brackets that say zero out of five discoveries, the fish are not safe to eat. And as I mentioned to you guys, we need to either catch like five weird fish or a combination of five weird fish and those little treasure chests that sometimes the Sims pull up. And once we get five of them, then the fish will be safe to go ahead and eat. But until then, no, no nomming on the little fishies. And instead, I wonder, can we eat this, <laughs> eat the prairie hay grass out of desperation? Oh, hey, it's Hercules. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and maybe we'll like scratch his neck and say good morning. Oh, never mind. He's getting something to eat. Never mind. Thought he was coming over to say like, hey, good morning or something like that. Nope. He was just coming over to get some prairie grass to eat. That's fine, Hercules. That's fine. Uh, meanwhile, I guess we have this apple. So let's go ahead and eat the apple. And then we'll play Johnny Appleseed because, you know, Rocky thinks that this is going to be oh so easy peasy. Oh, nature's revenge from eating harvested fruits or apples. Rocky felt great when he proudly plucked some produce and started munching away. Decimated and devoured, then vindictive vegetables made their final stand, <laughs> waging war on his digestive tract. Oh no! Hopefully, uh, Rocky has managed to get hit. Oh no, we don't have a toilet. <gasps> we don't have a toilet. Oh, life is about to become a little bit more interesting than I thought. Okay, uh, can we desperately eat like another apple? 
and then then we can maybe play Johnny Appleseed and be able to like go ahead and maybe like did that help at all? It barely took any of the hunger off. What happened to my mod that makes produce like really filling? Oh man. Okay, this is going to be a bit more of a desperate situation than I realized. So, um if that's the case, let's see. We could sell the prairie grass we've gathered, even though that kind of still feels silly because we, you know, actually had gathered some of that prairie grass, like from the store, like we paid money for it. We can't collect the uh, the insects because we're too uncomfortable. Whoops a doops. That's gonna make life even more interesting. I guess we might have to sell our outstanding horse manure because I'm trying to figure out like, dude, how am I gonna feed you then? Like, you're making this a little complicated because I was gonna go ahead and get you like a, a grill or like, some rocks you could go ahead and maybe eat from but if you're gonna do this it's gonna make it really hard let's see oh yeah and then we have some really cute like planters from brazen that we could go ahead and use to look like recycled planters which i love um i could have sworn there was somewhere around here that i could go ahead and i could get myself a tiny little fire pit <laughs> i was hoping there would be okay so let me let me go ahead and see if the the filthy and fabulous set I think I think oh it's a pine cone oh it's a pine cone pet toy that's adorable um okay oh there's a do it yourself bucket toilet oh boy I really don't want to think about that right now but we might have to in just a second Ew. um oh hey we can afford the bucket shower now <laughs> <laughs> by selling our prairie grass. Ah, the do-it-yourself survivalist fire. That's what I was looking for. All right. Um, can I eat around it? Or is that just going to be a pile of sticks? Let's see. I like, I like it. See, this is what I thought. You shouldn't have to pay 300 simoleons just for a fire. And can we roast? Oh, we can roast marshmallows? Ha ha, take that, life. <laughs> Where we got the marshmallows, I have no idea, but you know what? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it and I'm just going to have to pretend that maybe they happen to be like some of the fruit or maybe they happen to be some of the bugs because <laughs> I don't think they're gonna fill us up a lot. You doing good over there, Rocky? Man, and it's literally just marshmallows that I can cook right here. Huh. And also the bladder thing is not looking too good. So... I don't like I don't like where this is headed, but we might have to go ahead. I don't like where this is going. Oh no. He actually he actually got sick from not having maybe washed his hands. Ah, but that makes sense for the water being like really bad around here. Oh boy. Okay, I don't want to think about this. I'm just going to kind of stare into space and sing like la 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 la, la to myself cuz this is not the kind of situation I want to contemplate but we do have a bucket toilet now <laughs> oh blessed be the mod authors that can go ahead and really give us oh hey speak of the toilet uh hey if we clean a trash can is required to clean this up oh and then we could do our cleaning oh yeah our community service all right buddy well we acquired the cooking skill now oh wait maybe that's why we couldn't roast anything else okay all right uh, we probably should go ahead and run to the restroom now. Just saying. Oh, that's right. Never mind. We don't need a toilet. Thank goodness. We have a bush. Oh, wait. But I might leave the toilet because the bush, you can only fertilize so many times. Um, and then once we're done fertilizing the bush, we can appreciate it as part of our community service challenge. Uh, during community service day, we need to go in town so that we can go ahead and we can actually... Uh-oh. Are we not going to make it? <gasps> no! Oh no, 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 come over here, come over here. Oh. Wait, is burning to death? Get them inside sooner into cooler. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, Rocky, what? Oh my gosh. And now, okay, hang on. This is, this is escalating. This is escalating really quickly. Uh, where's your summer outfit? Did I even prepare you a proper summer outfit? I don't think he has a summer outfit. Uh oh. Oh man. <laughs> oh no. This is really, like, this is really changing quite quickly. Uh, summer outfit, please? Like, is that gonna help you out? Um, did I not, like, make a proper summer outfit? Is this gonna help? Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna have to see if this lowers his body temperature at all, but I don't think that people are going to want 
What do you mean, pillow fight? Who is fighting with what pillow? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this escalated quickly. I think we've got ourselves into a bit of a situation here. I think even the horse is not impressed with all of this. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Rocky. Look, here, let's go ahead, put this in the inventory. Can you can you gather any of these bugs? No, because you're too uncomfortable to do any of that. Oh my gosh, first bladder failure. He suffered great embarrassment at Ranch to Riches. Oh boy. Uh, well, buddy, can you... We're gonna have to have you harvest prairie grass. And we're just gonna have to say that that's gonna give us enough for a bucket shower. And I guess we're starting there. Ooh, milestones. Uh, milestones mark the big moments in Sims' lives. Whether it's the inevitable signs of growing up or exceptional achievements, these experiences shape... Hello? Okay. These experiences shape who Sims become. Look back on their journeys through each life stage by viewing milestones in their panel. Okay, see, I haven't even played since milestones became a thing, so that's good to know. Are we having another chat with our horse to try to feel better? Rocky, you're just really Nathan. struggling right now, aren't Watch you, buddy? <laughs> Can I bathe in the water? Okay, all right, well. Oh, he's gonna go watch the flock of wild birds. Uh, my friend, my friend. Like, let's get you, let's get you a bucket. Let's get you a bucket shower. We'll put it all the way back here. I just want to warn you, don't drink from the bucket. Like, you can bathe in it, but don't drink it. Um, let's see. And I think, yeah, I think this'll, this'll do. This'll do. All right. And then take quick and tepid shower. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is not the morning he thought he was going to have where he was just going to light a fire. You know, there was going to be plenty for him to go ahead and eat. Now he's embarrassed. He has to go into town for community service. He's bathing under a bucket. Like, and he wants to join the social media career. Sim Sock is how you got into this mess, sir. Think, think. Well, I guess you wouldn't be a Sim Sock star half the time if you if you thought through the consequences of your actions. But that's not so much to throw shade at the nice people, mind you. Uh, just some of the others. But in any case, Oh my gosh, is this our summer outfit? I love the idea that this is the only stuff that we don't have that's like ruined. And he's like, this is embarrassing. I don't want to be wearing this right now. But here we are. And hey, at least there's some bugs. <laughs> if we collect more insects, that might give us a chance to maybe start working on some sort of functional environment. Ah. Oh. All right. Well, good news is I also saw that the bugs that we moved happened to spawn in. So that means I can fill this entire world full of all sorts of bugs. Um, no, Nessa, we can't go to GeekCon. We're under how, like oh, little gosh. neighborhood arrest, I should say. <laughs> if oh, and now let's go ahead. We're going to actually perform uh, an odd job or something. He wants to fish for compliments. He needs new friends. We are not having a good time here. Uh, let's go into town. And I love the idea that Rocky wants to get himself some new, some new clothes because, you know, bladder failure. That's it, it's kind of it's kind of rubbed in his face. Quick and tepid shower. Indeed. Wow. That almost did nothing. What the heck? Maybe I interrupted him? Maybe I wasn't- no, I think he took a quick and tepid shower and that's just all he got. Alright, well, we'll try to clean him up a little bit more. And then, well, I'm gonna try to get him capable of maybe trying to plant a few of the, the things he's found. I will sell off some of these little Katie dids real quick and butterflies. Honestly, he could think about giving those away as gifts at some point too. Uh, and then we'll have to see what we can throw together as we try to go ahead and survive. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm loving this. If you would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, then you guys know what to do. But most importantly, <laughs> stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.